Hey there, people. Uh, it's been a while. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's been quite a while, I'd have to say. Almost a year. Like, four months away from a year or something. But anyways... We're gonna be playing Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles right now. What do I name my town? Sato. Kind of German. Anyways, what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be doing not only a boss. Wait, we're not gonna be doing a one cycle run. We're going to be doing a several cycle run. We're going to be playing through the entire game. I'd have to say. It might not be 100%. Most likely it won't be. Because I never do anything 100%. But anyways... Yeah. the d-pad for this. We are obviously male. And I always use uke. I don't know why. So we're gonna choose something different. We're gonna choose Buckethead Lilty. Because I like her. We're gonna have the blacksmith. And we're also gonna create other characters, but that's gonna be off camera. trying to get the full screen. texting during this, so sorry for the bad etiquette. We're going to spare you. Anyways. So here we go. If you're playing multiplayer, Mog will not help you. Mog will not help you at all. Did I start 
saying something about Paper Mario and like completely did not finish it. I think I did. Anyways, Paper Mario will not is discontinued. I cannot. I don't understand. The Paper Mario that, uh. I once asked a man why. He simply replied, because anybody who happens upon one is promptly eaten. Well, but it is my data for Paper Mario was deleted. Because I wanted to go update my Wii, and apparently my data always gets deleted, and I forgot about that. And I updated because I really didn't like the flashy blue thing with the Wii, and I thought it was annoying. So I decided that I should, you know, update it. And lo and behold, it deletes my Paper Mario data. So, sorry about that, guys. Anyways, we're going to start on River Bell Path. Okay, what we want to do here is to cycle through the command menu, you want to use L and R. The command menu is the thing that's moving right now. Anyways, all we have right now are attack and defend. And for a while, that's going to be what we have. That's the only thing we're going to be having. Anyways, what we want to do for right now is we want to place this right here and go over here and open up this part of the bridge. It means nothing to us right now. Oh yeah, to get to get Mog to hold and drop the chalice, you have to press X. Alright, here we are, first battle. There is no lock on, press A to attack, there is no rolling, there's pretty much nothing. Anyways, let me text, yeah. Now we have Phoenix down, we can use that when we die, so keep that in your command list if you die a lot. It's a great item. You find a lot of it for some reason. <laughs> Anyways, here we come. This is a magic using enemy. Most monsters of Hero Lil P... Ooh, I don't know Most monsters will only take three hits. And fire... These guys are also weak to fire. Although, using magic with Lil T's isn't the smartest idea. At all. Alright. We're gonna wanna change our chalice color. So, or element. So, pick it up with your main character and drop it on the chalice when it says you know, drop. And... Now your chalice element is water. And you'll figure out what you want to do with that later on. Anyways, let's go over here. Let's beat the crap out of this guy. Beating up things with a little T is very easy. We don't need that. Anyways, the essentials with what you want for, you know, your command list is a an attacking magic. I'm gonna refer to it as black magic and curing that curing magic which is white magic anyways use either have both of these in your inventory at least cure because cure is going to be the most amazing thing you're ever going to find ever it'll help you out of so many things it's ridiculous now if you want to beat something up really quick hold an a and you will come up with a targeting ring. Said targeting ring will move with the, uh, you know, control stick and move it over to the enemy and release A and you will unleash a very powerful focus attack. Anyway, oh, forgot about that. Anyways, let's go back down. Now the camera is not centered around you. It is centered around Mog. Or the chalice. Now you want to do 
divide and conquer glory tactics here. Anyways. For this guy, I recommend hitting him once or twice and backing off. Because that happens. When, that, when this guy comes in and starts throwing stones, starts stoning people, I recommend, you know, just maybe running away. Sometimes running away is the best tactic you can do. Ow. That hurt. They are a very annoying combination. But you got a very nice reward for it, the man eater. Vegetable seed. We're gonna go unlock this place, but we're not gonna go there yet because we're hard That's good. Come on. Come on. Anyways, so we're going to go down here, and we're gonna, you know, go down here, and we're gonna open that. Now we have something that we can't use. So we're gonna destroy that when we get the time. Actually, I recommend, you know, if you find anything you can't use at all, I recommend destroying it, dropping it. Oh, you can destroy it, whatever. I recommend dropping it. And we should run into something. Yeah, there we go. Now the cool benefit of a little tea is that you basically kill everything really easily. Now it might not be that special right now because everybody kills everything in three hits, but uh, you know later on that'll be pretty cool because you'll be killing everything in three hits later on as well. Anyways, let's go back up here. Now we're gonna face an annoying one. Just get in there and beat the crap out of him, that's all we have to do. He's really annoying, he might hit you once or twice, but that's okay. La -dee -da -dee -da. Okay, now we're gonna face a Moo. Moos take two hits, three hits to kill. Anyways, now that the Moo is dead, and so is that thing, hedgehog, I think. Hold on. Alright. Let's open this. We've got a buckler. Don't need that. And now here's something a lot of people don't. Oh! Anyways, here's something that people don't tend to get. Let's, let's talk, let's talk. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you know, stand, 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 stand. Trying to fill in as much as I can within 14 minutes. Basically, find these Moogle faces in each of the areas you can visit, and you will be able to unlock stuff. Anyways, that's part one of Riverbell Path, so we're going to have to cut it right here, and I'll be back in a minute.